UNM's Carrie Tingley Hospital is the state's only pediatric rehabilitation hospital, serving thousands of children and adolescents who are suffering from a wide variety of illnesses and disabling conditions. Founded more than 70 years ago in truth or consequences to care for children stricken with polio, Carrie Tingley Hospital relocated to Albuquerque 30 years ago, but remains faithful to its founder's vision today to help disabled children make full use of their talents and abilities. This program is wonderful. It's called the Zia Free Wheelers and it's a hand cycling program for um, people who use wheelchairs. And Madeline's been doing it for two years. This is her second year. It helps uh, each kid individually at their own pace. Um, just try to build up um, your strength and try to show people that we can, we can do it. We uh, have a cycling program for uh, kids with disabilities. So any kids that can't ride a, a regular bike for whatever reason, whether they uh, don't have use of their legs or, or have various disabilities that prohibit them from having the balance or the, or the strength of the coordination to ride a regular bike. So we ride bikes that are powered by arms, we ride tricycles. I've been riding for about four or five years. Last year I did like 26 miles. So it's gradually going up. You know, every week she goes a little bit further. And we got 15 riders out here. Wow, fantastic, you guys. Great job. It's a really great experience for them. You know, a lot of them before they've joined this program have never had the opportunity to ride a bike before. And so, you know, we all remember as kids what a joy it is to ride a bike. And they're, they're getting to have that experience. And then they're also getting to be out in the community and doing things just like regular kids and regular families do with their families. So uh, it, it's really neat to have them out here on, on the Bosque Trail in Albuquerque uh, with everybody else having a great time. It's cool that we get uh, opportunities like these, um, all these sponsors and stuff to get bikes like these because these bikes, they're not cheap at all. They're really expensive. So it's cool that we get all these opportunities to have stuff like these, like these races and wheelchair basketball and all these different sports, wheelchair sports camp. The Carrie Tingley Hospital Foundation uh, provides a little budget for us and helps us with equipment because these bikes are, they're considered medical equipment, they're really expensive. And the Carrie Tingley Hospital Foundation functions 100% on contributions and then redirects that money back to children, to, to programs to help with children and their quality of life. Uh, there's a number of fundraisers that benefit the Carrie Tingley Hospital Foundation throughout the year. The Carrie Tingley Foundation does so much for families and children with disabilities. Um, not only these recreational um, activities, but they've helped us with equipment for Maddie. They've um, helped get us involved in different therapies and um, programs around the city. And this is a wonderful um, charity and it all stays here and all helps our local kids. And so I would definitely encourage you to come out and see some of the programs. It helps out a lot. Um, all these kids here, there's kids with different disabilities here. So it helps, out, it helps us out incredible. I mean, if you can help out just a little bit, it's, it helps. Oh, what a hopeful and inspirational story that was. I love it. And this Saturday, Mark Pardo Salon and Spa and the Aveda Institute New Mexico are hosting the Do Hair, Do Good Hair and Fashion Show to benefit the Carrie Tingley Hospital Foundation. And I'm pleased <laughs> to say that Don Bell is with the Carrie Tingley Hospital Foundation. Good morning, Good morning. Dawn. And our good friend, Aveda Institute Director Kathy Garza, is back on yes. New Mexico Style with details. I know. It's so good to Great see you. Great to see both of you. Thank <laughs> you for what you're doing on behalf of everybody. I want to say that the Mark Pardo Aveda family are very involved in our community if you didn't know that and every year you guys actually host a fashion show and I've been to many of them and you benefit a worthy cause oh, so definitely. tell everybody why you chose Carrie Tingley Hospital this year well it's a pleasure to you know represent them mm -hmm. and it's really a great cause as you can see I was there that Sunday you were. and you know it's a feel good to see these children just smile from you know from side to side they're yeah. just you know it's amazing and of course, you know, the community is very important to us, as you know. Oh, yeah. And we feel that the Pardo people are the community to raise funds for someone, something like this, so worthy. It was, yeah. it's a pleasure, it really is. And it's going to be fun and exciting. Get your best dress on. So <laughs> please come out, well, buy your tickets. And it's like the name says, when you do good, you feel good. I right. Mean, that's really the truth. So Dawn, tell us a little bit about what role the foundation plays and how will the money that's raised actually support the foundation? We, we are so honored 
honored to be a part of this. We can't thank Mark oh. Pardo and Aveda <laughs> enough for nice. selecting us. Uh, the Carrie Tingley Hospital Foundation serves 5,000 children every year with special wow. needs across the state. Um, medical and developmental disabilities have a profound effect on these children and no their kidding. families. So 100% of the donations raised this Saturday at the fashion show will go to help families afford those things mm -hmm. that aren't covered by insurance, things that the families need, just like you saw in the video. 100%. I love to hear that. And so what are the specific details so we know what we're going to see at the Do Hair, Do Good? Well, it's always exciting. Like, all the salons right now are in preparation. I've seen sewing machines. I've seen materials, yeah. glitter, wings made, <laughs> uh, Egyptian, <laughs> tribal drums. It's like your own you know. Halloween. Well, it's better than that because it's <laughs> like, oh, and they're on stage. I, you know, they're just really super yeah. excited. I see back combing going on on the hair. <laughs> I see a lot of beans hanging comb. on. Everybody gets a goodie bag, and people have been Ooh. so generous with the actual donations. What's there's in the goodie bag? There's t-shirts, there's product, there's pens, oh, there's fun. lipstick, there's just so much fun. I mean, that. it's exciting because everybody is really thrilled. I don't know if you know, Aveda has a new color line that's really super bright, as okay. you can see. Thank you, Aubrey. <laughs> you know, um, and so there's a lot of color. Yeah. Uh, like I said, everybody's really excited. It's glamorous. About, it's glamour. It's something fun. Yeah. If you don't have anything to do, buy your tickets. Come on in and yeah. open your purses be generous let's take care of these wonderful little children I mean they're What's so happy important? to be riding those bikes I mean you know how <laughs> it is to get to exercise and these kids have it on their calendar and can't wait you know, it makes them feel so good and this makes people feel good and I also want to mention that Casa and KRQ we are actually very yes. proud sponsors of do hair do good so thank, thank you. you of course to all of you